So this is my next batch of cards I'm sending off to ComC. There's about 600 cards here. Let me talk a little bit about my strategy for using ComC. It's something new and I've learned a lot from Jeff. So follow Jeff here. He's got a great set of videos on his journey to ComC. This is my third batch that I'm sending to ComC. The first batch was about a month ago and it had about 120 cards, 20 of which I sent in under the select service level and the remaining 100 or so under the standard service level. The select ones cost a dollar per card and the standard ones 50 cents per card, but the select ones uh, get turned around faster and listed faster. So my strategy was let's send in some select cards. I sent in 20. Each of them are gonna cost a dollar to list. So that's $20 out of pocket. But I should be able to, if those cards sell, if at least a portion of those cards sell, get enough um, money into my account to cover the fees associated with the 100 standard cards. And so those 100 standard cards should get listed around early July. That's the turnaround time for that. Now, after that, a few weeks later, I sent off another 500 cards under the standard service level again. 500 cards at 50 cents a card is about $250. And then more right now, what I'm doing is I'm preparing my third batch. There are 600 cards here, about 100 of which I'm going to send under the select service level and the remaining 500 under standard. So these 100 cards or so, again, they're going to cost me a dollar uh, to submit each. So that's $100. I should be able to gain enough from the previous batches to cover the cost of this. And then the profits from these cards should easily cover these 500. Now, why I'm doing this in this process is so that I'm not constantly depositing more money into Com C. I start with 20 cards. Those should cover the cost of listing 100 more. The profits from those 120 cards should cover the next batch of about 500 cards. And then the sales from those cards ideally cover the cost associated with these 600 cards. And so ideally I start only with $20 and it snowballs into a much larger chunk of money in my account. Um, and so that's my plan. Now these ones, they're gonna be submitted now and it's early April, so they're not gonna be um, listed until August sometime. These ones on the other hand should be listed by mid-May. And so there's a snowball effect in how you can submit cards and have that the, the credit in your account start to accumulate to cover your larger deposits. So what's in this batch of 100 cards I'm submitting to Comp C under the select service level? I've got some Russell Wilson rookie cards. I've got some autographs. I've got some low numbered parallels from, you know, Tops and Panini Baseball. Things that I think are worth around $10 or so a card, 10 to $20 a card. And then on the other hand, these 500 cards here, again, they have a, uh, they have a fee associated with them about 50 cents a card. And so these are cards that are worth anywhere from, you know, a dollar to maybe three dollars something like that where margins actually do matter for the most part these are parallels common parallels that i just don't need you know pink parallels green parallels things that are not numbered things that are actually quite common uh, but for players that i really don't care about and even for the players that i do care about in here i just i just don't like the cards oh one more thing i should note about these cards i do have pc cards in here actually cards some of these cards i did want to send to psa but many of the cards i'm sending into com c that um are that I'm, I'm submitting under the select service level have flaws you know the corners are soft or there are some service level issues they're not going to get me that psa 10 and so they're just going back into the market 